antimicrobial resistance AMR occurs when a microorganism changes over time and no longer responds to medicines making infections harder and sometimes impossible to treat which can lead to severe illness and death globally AMR is responsible for an estimated 1.27 million deaths per annum and probably around 389,000 fatalities in South Asia and 97,000 deaths in Southeast Asia every year. The main drivers for antimicrobial resistance are misuse and overuse of antimicrobials in human and animal sectors, environmental contamination and untreated wastewater, including transmission of resistant pathogens, suboptimal dosing, including from substandard and falsified drugs, Together, these and other factors have aggravated the emergence of antimicrobial resistance worldwide. Furthermore, climate change and global warming worsen the problems of antimicrobial resistance by creating more favorable conditions and additional breeding grounds for resistant microbes. At the same time, our options for potent antimicrobials are increasingly limited. In 2017, for example, of the 27 antibiotics in the clinical pipeline that address priority pathogens, only six fulfill at least one of WHO's criteria for innovation. Weak implementation of regulation of antimicrobials leads to their misuse through over-the-counter sales, online sales and other unregulated sales of antimicrobials in pharmacies, grocery stores, street vendors. In addition, massive consumption of antimicrobials in the food production sector as growth promoters as part of breeding of animals or aquaculture threaten even the limited retention of potent antimicrobials we have. We may call AMR a silent pandemic. To address this silent pandemic, WHO together with UN partners in the Food and Agriculture Organization, the World Organization of Animal Health and the United Nations Environmental Programme adopt a multi-sectoral approach where stakeholders from different sectors work together working together in human health and animal health plant health food and feed production and in the protection of the environment is necessary as part of this process we need to further encourage countries and stakeholders to fund and implement national action plans for antimicrobial resistance a key instrument for coordinated progress in tackling AMR Surveillance of antimicrobial resistance and of antimicrobial consumption and use needs to be accelerated together with scaling up investment in water, sanitation and environment. Expanded programs of vaccinations help address antimicrobial resistance because they reduce the vaccine preventable infections and hence the need to take antimicrobials for treatment. WHO Southeast Asia Regional Office has contributed significantly to address AMR. In 2014, the Regional Director of the Southeast Asia Region made AMR a flagship priority. By 2017, all member states in CR had developed national action plans on AMR. In 2021, member states in CR enrolled in Global AMR Surveillance System, GLASS AMR. We need to act without any delay and in a sustained way or else the problems posed by antimicrobial resistance may become insurmountable. Together, we can help protect our present and future generations and our livelihoods by using antimicrobials rationally and reasonably. To know more about AMR prevention, log on to www.who.int slash health dash topics slash antimicrobial dash resistance